Before we complete the pre-taxi checklist and call for ground control authorization to move the aircraft, we need to get the ATIS Automated Terminal Information Service information. ATIS is the continuous broadcast of recorded non-control information in selected high-activity terminal areas. Its purpose is to improve controller effectiveness and to relieve frequency congestion by automating the repetitive transmission of essential but routine information. We tune our radio to the appropriate frequency and listen to the broadcast, which is typically renewed every hour. When there is a significant change, the information will have a special issuance between regular hourly broadcasts. Using the Garmin GTN650, you touch the lower standby frequency and enter the desired ATIS frequency. Then touch the upper frequency to swap places and the ATIS is active. When NISE ATIS Information Alpha 1851 Zulu weather. Wind 160 at 10 peak gust 18. Sky condition 800 scattered. 3500 overcast. Temperature 18, dew point 6. Altimeter to 9 or 9 or 2. ILS runway 16 right approach and use. Landing and departing runways 16 left and right. Advise on initial contact you have information alpha. At times, the ATIS may have important information regarding closed taxiways and runways. Information regarding nearby temporary flight restrictions may also be included. Please be aware that the wind information given in the ATIS may be up to one hour old and the actual winds you encounter may be quite different. For incoming aircraft it is generally a bad idea to rely on the ATIS for wind information, a better idea would be to check the windsock when you get closer, and if needed ask the tower controller for a wind check if you suspect unfavorable winds.